after the installation of git uh, you uh, would uh, I would recommend and uh, highly recommend to install Tortoise, Tortoise Git. Um, Tortoise Git uh, is a, a shell addition to Windows uh, Explorer uh, that lets you do Git commands using GUI interface. For now, <clears throat> uh, because you're you're just beginning your work with Git, having Tortoise Git gives you an idea of how Git works, and later on you can actually use the command lines for the GUI interface that you are using, which uh, kind of accelerates your use of Git in this manner. So uh, just type Tortoise Git and download. So Tortoise Git download in your browser and hit enter again, download Tortoise Git Windows Shell interface to Git. You click on that one. Again, select the proper operating system download that you have and download Tortoise Git. When the download is complete, um, run it. Then um, again, for Tortoise Git, uh, keep going by default uh, and install it. Okay, and let it run the first start wizard and click on finish. Uh, and then you click on next and you keep going everything's default until you get to the place that you're going to put your name put the information that you have for github over here so i had uh for the demo i put fred soleil for the name and my password by uh email was f at my ca so i'm setting uh that for my uh, user configuration the same thing as uh uh, the information that I had in my GitHub and I click next and uh, here you can actually generate the the potty key pair I'm not gonna click on it now um, I'll explain uh, the rest of it later to see how it's done if, if you click on finish now your tortoise git is installed um, and you can use tortoise git to um, issue git command so essentially if you go to any directory and right click on a directory you'll see that three additional options are here git clone git create repository here and tortoise git options we're going to go through that later on so now you have tortoise git installed on your machine